Lucian Wintrick left at a rally in Washington in June. Stephen Crowley, the New York Times, a Washington correspondent for a provocative conservative website who spoke at the University of Connecticut, was arrested on Tuesday night after he appeared to grab a woman who had taken papers off the lectern at which he had been speaking, officials said. The correspondent, Lucian Wintrick, followed the woman who took the paperwork as she went back into the aunts, and the altercation occurred as he tried to retrieve the papers, according to the university and video recordings of the event. He was eventually led out of the Andrei Schenker lecture hall by the authorities. Breaking at Lucien Wintrek appears to attack a at UConn student during speech after she took something off podium. Pick.twitter.com Wagnick 7C, Kevin Galliford at Calmag November 29, 2017 Mr. Wintrick, 29, was charged with breach of the peace, a misdemeanor, and was released late Tuesday after posting $1,000 bond, said a university spokeswoman, Stephanie Rates. In a tweet early Wednesday, Mr. Wintrick, who works for the Gateway Pundit, said it was really unfortunate that some UConn students felt the need to be violent and disruptive. It's really unfortunate that some of the kids at UConn felt the need to be violent and disruptive during a speech that focused on how the leftist media is turning Americans against each other. Tonight proved my point, Lucien B. Wintrick at Lucien Wintrick November 29, 2017 The confrontation happened near the end of the nearly hour-long speech, which the Associated Press said was titled It's OK to be White, during which people in the aunts shouted and jeered. As the crowd was leaving the lecture hall around 9 p.m., someone broke one of the lecture hall's windows and a smoke bomb was thrown inside the hall, Ms. Rates said. The bomb detonated and the person ran away, she said. The police later arrested Sean Miller, 19, a UConn student, and charged him with breach of the peace and criminal mischief in connection with the broken window. Ms. Rates noted that Mr. Miller had not been charged in connection with the smoke bomb, which remains under investigation. Mr. Miller was also released after posting a $1,000 bond, she said. The police interviewed the woman who had taken the papers off the lectern, but Ms. Rates said no other arrests were made on Tuesday. It was not clear whether the woman was a student. No injuries were reported in connection to the evening's mayhem, she said. The case remains open and additional charges or arrests could be forthcoming, she said. This was a very disappointing evening, Susan Herbst, Yukon's president, said in a statement. Thoughtful, civil discourse should be a hallmark of democratic societies and American universities, and this evening fell well short of that, Mr. Wintrick had been invited to speak at an event organized and hosted by the Yukon College Republicans Club, Ms. Rates said. The event started around 8 p.m. and was to last about an hour. About 300 people attended, some who attended were supporters, others were critics, and still others came from the surrounding community and were not students, Ms. Rates said. It was a very active and loud discussion throughout the entire time, Ms. Rates said in a telephone interview. There was a lot of heated emotion, UConn does not bar speakers on the basis of their content, she said. Any student group, she added, is free to reserve on-campus space for a speaker as long as the group's event adheres to university guidelines. Mr. Wintrack's conservative website, The Gateway Pundit, gained notice last year for its fervent pro-Trump coverage and its penchant for promoting false s about voter fraud and Hillary Clinton's health. Mr. Wintrick, who has collaborated with Milo Yiannopoulos, the conservative provocateur, was granted press credentials to attend White House news briefings this year.